Thank you again for the opportunity to be here. And uh, Fred, I appreciate the, the, again, thanking the UEP leadership for their the advocacy on behalf of the North Country, on behalf of all of our wonderful students, and certainly the, the SUNY campuses that are represented today through Canton, Pottsdale, and SUNY Pottsburg. Uh, Tapa, you did a great job, uh, it, you know, essentially informing the world of what it is to experience a campus that may not have the opportunities that a student might expect. And I think that's, uh, I think that's all of our goal is to ensure that, that students do have that, that incredible opportunity here. And, and I would agree that the, the, with the sentiments that the SUNY campuses across the state of New York are really basically key to educating the citizens of New York. And an edu educated citizenry in the, in the state of New York has incredible uh, benefits and, and I'll say opportunities that will make New York State even stronger moving into the future. And I'd like to brag, if I can, about SUNY Plattsburgh just for a moment. SUNY Plattsburgh has a unique role and a unique niche here in the North Country. We have responsibility for education, we have responsibility for healthcare, and we have responsibility for business and entrepreneurship. That's what we do here for the North Country. And so the niche that SUNY Plattsburgh fills is absolutely critical to serving the needs of the North Country. I'd also like to say that SUNY Plattsburgh plays a multitude of roles. You've heard about economic development and economic impact. You've heard about student lives that are being changed. But I would say if I was to distill down what the SUNY Plattsburgh role is in our community, it does three things. One is it supports student success. Because if students are successful, then we're all successful. We make students' educational dreams come true. And it's evidence every year that I get to do commencement. And the third thing I'll say is that we support the economic vitality of the North Country. We lift everyone's boat here in the North Country through the work that we do. So with that, where are we right now? So numbers. I'm sorry that we're going to talk about numbers for a second. I'll just, I'll just go briefly. Our share of the allocation or the appropriation that comes to SUNY Plattsburgh has remained flat for a number of years. Changing that would be incredibly beneficial to the campus. We have been cutting expenses, and I would say that as a campus, when I arrived 30, it's been 34 months, COVID came two months later or a month later, um, what I observed and what I found in, in, in working with the campus leadership and with the faculty and with members of the of both the professional um, and, and, and uh, staff, staff unions here, is that we've been excellent stewards. We've recognized that we have a budget challenge and we've risen to the occasion to address that. We haven't just stood back and said nothing and, did, and done nothing. We have been cutting expenses for the past decade, even though as costs raise, and I would say as, as our share of, in some ways, unfunded uh, operating costs have, have risen, but some realities with respect to the campus. We have 18% fewer FTE employees on our campus than we did just five years ago. Simultaneously, we have 22% fewer students on our campus than we did just five years ago. So there is a, a, in many ways, a confluence of these two factors simultaneously, but it hasn't made things easier for the campus. We are still dedicated to ensuring that we provide the most outstanding and most I'll say state-of-the-art and world-class education that we can for <coughs> our students. So I'll wrap up in just a second, Fred, but I'm just saying the challenges that we face are real. It, they, they are incredibly real. And we've been, uh, I'll say, honest and, and, and forthright in being able to address those, those real challenges. We're solvent this year because we're relying on our reserve dollars. So not only have we been good stewards, we're actually having, in terms of our reserve account, the capacity to cover what we're projecting to be the structural deficit for the campus, so we were able to solve it. But we are still burdened by what I will call unfunded mandates that come our way. And a good example of an unfunded mandate that I would thank the UUP for helping to eliminate was the TAP gap. The TAP gap was a structural deficit issue that came the way of all campuses here at SUNY Plattsburgh between the years 2017 and 2022, the TAP gap for our campus was $9.5 million. We paid for that. Try to imagine how you could spend $9.5 million in a slightly different way, but we had to use our resources to cover that. The TAP gap, thankfully, is gone because of advocacy due to UUP. So thank you, Fred, and thank you to the leadership of the UUP for that.
Another major uh, hurdle that we face, and this is, this is coming on, the campus has had to adjust and, and, and accommodate what we'll call unfunded mandates and operations expenses. And we're facing another $4.5 million of that in this current fiscal year. So I would just finish by summarizing everything I've tried to tell you today. Advocacy is the key. Advocacy will help the campuses thrive and it will assist us in being even better stewards of the precious resources that the state of New York and the students trust us with in terms of administering this campus. We want to do great things, or I'll say this way, we want to do greater things, because this campus already has a phenomenal impact on North Country lives and the citizens of the North Country. I see it every day, I meet students, I meet our alums. We're too important not to be supported. 